and this is what I'm going to be using for the silk gel overlay these can be bought at Sally's Beauty Supply this is super nail brand I believe it's like maybe around five dollars for these you get 40 tabs I like to use silk because it is tightly woven there is fiberglass too yeah I, I think I like the silk better this is the gel that I'm going to be using over top of the silk and it is a very thin viscosity gel you can also use Jellish's structure gel their soak off now the gel I'm going to use is not soak off Make sure that you clean and prepare the nail plate and that you use your dehydrator and primer. The silk is like a sticker. It has sticky on one side. You don't really need to have this clear down here by the cuticle. You actually want to have a little bit of space. Whenever I apply any sticker, I always use a plastic bag to stick it down with. I don't want to ever touch my fingers on it because the oils from your fingers can cause the silk to lift. Trim off the excess and on this side I'm going to leave just a little bit because my nail had a little dip in it there. I think that's pretty good. The first layer of gel, you just want to make it very thin. And when you apply it, you'll see that the silk will become invisible, like transparent. You'll want to let that soak in. Don't brush too hard because you don't want to lift up the silk, okay? You want that to seep into that silk. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for one minute. Time to do the second layer. And you want to add a little bit more gel this time around. Now I'm going to cure that again for another minute. I'm going to apply the third layer. And I have a little dip here that I need to kind of build out there a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cure that. All right, I want to do a fourth layer because I want to get a little bit of more structure in the apex area. I'm just going to take a bead and I'm just going to run it down the center. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cure that now. And there it is. I just need to shape it up a little bit. I had a little dip in it over there on the side and I filled that in so it looks really good. I don't think I really need to do any more filing really. It looks pretty good. So I filed and shaped up the nail. It looks pretty good. Now I'm ready to just put that last layer which I'm going to use as a top coat. And here are the finished natural nails. They're all real. They're all my natural nails, except for the pinky. I did create that with my natural nail gel that I make, and it will be for sale again soon. So please be looking for that video to come up. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!